The very same way that there are tons of new websites or domains created across the internet every day, the same thing happens on the dark web for different Tor hidden services or Onion URLs. And one dark web location or an Onion website will actually help you search and find those new .onion websites. This is Tor66. Now it acts just like a search engine. You could go ahead and search for whatever you wanted, like data leaks or ransomware or hacking, whatever. It'll It'll also give you links where you could check out the new, freshly created new current domains or the top Onion websites and things that you might be able to go research. Obviously this video is simply for educational purposes only, blah blah blah, don't be a cyber criminal, don't hack, etc. Obviously Tor66 has a list of promoted sites or advertisements and banners and things that are not appropriate, not safe for work, not something that I can show on YouTube, so all of that will be blurred out. But uh, we're going to stay away from that and we're just going to go to the very top where we might be able to search for, as I mentioned, data Data leaks. If I go ahead and hit search here, note this is basically Google, right? It's Google for the dark web or one of those other search engines. Looks like we have a payload.bin, looks like Klopp ransomware gang, Babook, their ransomware gang and their online leaks, hack databases store, database leaks users, database leaks, blah, 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 blah. You can view these in a classic view or even a gallery view, which is odd, <laughs> but the gallery view will actually show you a little preview, at least a little bit of a bigger thumbnail than what we saw previously in the classic view. And then I'll tell you a little bit more about, hey, what that result actually is. Again, let me emphasize, I'm not encouraging or recommending anyone actually do this or go to any of these or perform any of dark web services stuff. This is merely for your awareness, for your information's sake of just how easy this is to kind of poke around and navigate and explore. Now I'll note here in a lot of these data shops buy Facebook accounts or Twitter email databases or LinkedIn email crackfuls, blackmail, blah, blah, blah. A lot of this is probably a scam. A lot of it is probably illegitimate and not real. Uh, however, I don't know, you might find something if you, for whatever reason, are looking. I don't know. But let's go back to the homepage of Tor 66 because I want to show you. Blah, dang it, crap. Okay, I got to obscure all of that. <laughs> Let me zoom in and let me click on just the fresh onions. These are the newly created dot onion websites or domains that have just spun up in the past couple of hours. I'm scrolling down super quick to get away from that advertisement that is not safe for work, but we have Lauder 6 Lottery. We have a help platform created 21 hours ago. Well, this one was created five hours ago. And this is where a lot of the garbage comes in. And I think that's something that you have to be cognizant of if you are exploring and going around on whatever cheesy tour, hidden services, onion, dark websites. Like look at all of these. Looks like the description is onion, 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 onion. <laughs> and it's just this for the entire list. It's just garbage, bogus spam. And sometimes your mileage may vary with what you see or what you find here, but obviously all of these were created like a ton ago. We could go click on one of these. We can go explore if any of them are actually worthwhile, but note that this page only lists the top 100 most recently created onion links. So we could visit one of these, but I don't think we're going to see anything worthwhile. We could probably open a couple of them. I'll open up different tabs, but onion, 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 onion is all that's being displayed. Played, so I don't know, is this uh, safe? <laughs> it's just redirecting? Where are you redirecting me to? Oh no, oh no. That is not something that we can have in a YouTube video, nor should society have to begin with. But let's go take a look at some of the, I don't know if they're relatively safe, uh, help platform and lotter six lottery. Let's go open up these in another tab. This one is loading here. This is our help platform. Uh, and the other one, lotter six has opened and loaded in another tab. Now, just in case you happen to be wondering, hey, isn't the dark web and all these like Tor onion sites not safe? Aren't there like hackers and I don't know, scary stuff that has lead credentials and personal personal information like credit card numbers and social security numbers and driver's license and stuff and information all out there on like people and maybe even you or me. And yes, you're totally right. And with that, if I may, I'd love to chat just briefly about something that you can use to protect yourself and your identity and information, your attack surface from the dark web and some spooky, scary stuff all across the internet airwaves. If I may, please allow me to give some love and support to today's sponsor, Flare Systems. Hackers, threat actors, and adversaries work in a business. Cybercrime is a whole enterprise, with attackers always sharing information and access all over the dark web. And your information might just be for sale. But with Flare Systems, you can proactively detect and remediate high-risk external exposure across the dark web and the clear web before more damage is done. Flare Systems offers dark web monitoring and coverage across the threat landscape. From leaky S3 buckets, ransomware blogs, dark web chats, marketplaces, forums, pace sites, shady telegram channels, and more. If your information is shared anywhere amongst thousands of illicit communities, you're alerted within seconds, not days, and you can respond right away. 
Flare unifies cyber threat intelligence, digital risk protection, and external attack surface management into a single platform that you can set up in less than 15 minutes. Flare is tracking over 2 million threat actor profiles, and you can drill down to view a threat actor's entire post history. You can even translate or summarize forum postings in entirely different languages common for cyber criminals. Know the enemy before they know you, because attackers shouldn't have the information advantage. Give Flare systems a try with their 7-day free trial or jump into a demo to understand your attack surface, track down information exposure, and monitor dark web communities. Get started with Flare Systems with my link below in the video description. Huge thanks to Flare Systems for sponsoring this video. Okay, here's our help platform. Um, wait, what? <laughs> it is a donation platform for your support. I cannot zoom in on this without completely butchering the background image that I think is just repeating. For your help, you can donate with BTC and just a Bitcoin address given here. <laughs> Granted, this site was made like, what, 20 hours ago? Let me go see, uh, how much money has this thing made, if anything? Let's do the Blockchain Explorer, let's check it out super quick. Let me paste in that address. Please wait while we process your request. Looks like there is one blockchain with results to your search. That is this, let's go ahead and check it out. Page is loading, let's see, has this fella? Oh, okay, looks like uh, zero dollars. <laughs> Poor fella isn't getting any handouts across the dark web in these Tor hidden services. But hey, maybe this is our good Samaritan deed of the day. We're amplifying this fella for help. You can donate. It is a donation platform for your support. Next up, we have Lotor 6, the Crypto Tor Lottery. Uh, okay. Lotor 6 Lottery. Weekly Lottery? Three-week Lottery? Ooh! Okay, these are our only options. There's not a whole lot here. We can go to our cart. Your cart is currently empty, as expected. We have not paid for the lottery by any means. Let's go pay for the lottery. So the weekly lottery is the cheapest. It's only $6 and will be called in about uh, five days from now. So let's see, can I participate in the every week lottery? Oh, there are still a lot of tickets available. You guys are not doing well in sales these days. You can pick your ticket number. I must be logged in. I need to log in. All right, I'm not gonna create an account on this. I'm not gonna fall down this rabbit hole. Any more than I need to. <laughs> so let's go back to Tor 66 and we took a look at the last most recent and freshly created Onion websites where a lot of them were not something that we could dive into. Uh, and we could actually check out a list of random onions and this will give us, hey, whatever couple of random dot onion URLs here that we could go access. If you hover over in any of these, it looks like you can actually see what their title is. Here's a quick money, buy money the real way. Uh, what else do we have? The dark net black market. Oh, spooky, scary, fast carding service services, credit card transfers, uh, and that. A little bit spooky. You could actually click on one of these to just go to a completely random Onion website and have no idea where you're going to end up. Maybe a little bit of roulette there if you wanted to play that. A certain kind of lottery. <laughs> what would happen if I searched for myself on the dark web with Tor66? Can I search for just my name and see what the heck happens? Okay, zero Onion sites. I'm good with that. Let's go back and take a look at our uh, dark net black market so to speak, right? Is there anything worthwhile or interesting that we might be able to explore and uh, see across the little airwaves here in these Tor Onion sites? Here it's starting the Darknet Black Market telling us to enable JavaScript before starting order. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Uh... <laughs> Oh, wow. Maybe not that one. What else do we have? Let's go back and do another search. Let's look for foals, which is that like cybercrime lead speak terminology to say all of the information that could have been gotten for a person, for an individual, like if they were doxxed or whatever, maybe we can go check out the gallery view to see, I don't know, what information may or may not be for sale here. There's some spooky stuff here. Look at this dark tools, credit card foals. A lot of this I'm sure is trash garbage, right? What if we searched for password? I've got a couple of stupid things here. Here's Hcracker, Hack Squad, Snowman Hackers, One Click Hackers, Hack Group, Hire a Hacker, Hire a Hacker, over and over and over again. I Hack, Bitcoin Escrow, Cracking Island. Oh, Cracking Island has some uh, oddball shenanigans to it, right? Is that the real link though? I feel like that's not. Yeah, that is not the link for Cracking Island, but Cracking Island is a weird one. Here, I pulled up the uh, real Cracking Island link. So Cracking Island is a huge and completely free collection of the latest ethical hacking and cracking programs only for educational purposes. Yes, of course, uh, with updates across 6,000 different islands or what they're calling the things that they showcase or like a, a, a 
entry for a, a resource listing for any of the things that they're offering here. They have different categories for things that would be worthwhile for tools, packs, maybe specific games, Valorant, you can see Adobe as a program here, Microsoft, Spotify, Instagram, Steam, Netflix, those things. Uh, and then you could track them down on socials if you really, really wanted to. <laughs> Couple of the featured islands find the most important dark tools or packs to crack everything or whatever. Here's Cyberbullet, the best combo maker tools, whatever that is. Best tools for making money online, roger that. Of course, Roblox. Let me go look for uh, specific accounts or combo lists, right? Here you can get a lot of free accounts for social media, online games, websites, mobile apps, and more. Note there are 4,000 islands in total, and there are a couple of Netflix accounts. So the weird thing, Spotify, Disney+, Plus, Discord, Steam, whatever, I don't know if any of these are real and I'm not going to validate that and you shouldn't but they are things that are at least allegedly out there so the thing is if you actually go to any of these if you go take a look at whatever island they have they have a little description a couple of the keywords and then the link to it and a mirror now if I go visit another one here let's go get Spotify now that one's not that interesting either what is in the combo list we can go take a look at the combo list how about that combo list is a text file that contains a list of leaked usernames and passwords or email addresses and passwords that can be used for cracking and hacking and whatever here we provide a list of premium combo lists in a different subject such as gaming, streaming, shopping, and more. Here is a mixed gaming combo list, streaming, private game, I don't know what the, Gmail, allegedly. Here's a 4.4 million USA combo list. What does this even explain? What does this showcase? Any of the links or the mirrors end up going to like an anonymous file or file.io or go file. And here we go. Like here's, I don't know, this zip archive. So I don't know, just for uh, exploratory sake, right? For research, is there anything remotely interesting in our 4.4 million USA combo list.zip file? Let's go ahead and download it. That thing's like 60 megs. It's cruising through it. All right, that has finished downloading and let's go ahead and take a look at our combo list. Can I just kind of click on this thing and see it. Okay, so it opened it up in the temper directory and extracted it here, and I'm trying to open it up in my text editor, but it is 130 megabytes, so uh, opening this might not be the best call. Oh, yeah, okay, no, it it crashed my virtual machine. <laughs> like, I cannot, I cannot do anything. I... S <laughs> Okay, maybe that's probably uh, for the better because we didn't really need to open up whatever combo list crap that this cracking island gave us. Yeah, it's borked. All right, uh, let's get out of that virtual machine and uh, call it a day here, I think. <laughs> so the dark web is pretty weird, but you already knew that. And I don't know, maybe in some places, in some corners and crevices, uh, there's information or data or things that are out there in the ether, whether or not it be from data leaks or breaches of recent compromises and incidents across companies or ransomware games. Things, just dumping out breach data and out into the ether. Uh, maybe, potentially, your information might be out there, and I don't know, I feel like that's at least always something worthwhile to keep in mind, and I don't know, maybe exploring a little bit of those weird and oddball places in the dark web if you can stomach it and have some of that fortitude. Uh, but hey, if you haven't, please do take a look at today's sponsor, Flare Systems. They honestly have some super cool stuff, and it's just kind of wild, and I love looking through it. And uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. See you in the next video.